Hello everyone and good evening. Welcome to this special edition or stream, not edition, of the Retro Programmers Inside Cra Crazy Climber Challenge. So what is it about? So basically the Facebook group Retro Programmers Inside did a challenge uh, to code the game Crazy Climber. Um, and uh, basically um, I'm going to show the games that they developed. Most of them are either in assembly or in basic. Not most, that's what they have done. So, first of all, please subscribe to the Facebook group of, okay, of Retro Programmers Inside and please subscribe to the page, okay? Same thing, subscribe to the Phase 101 Facebook group and uh, to the phase 101 page why i'm saying this because i'm doing this for retro programmers inside and of course for those that know me some people know me as prince phase 101 some others know me as phase 101 whatever i always grateful for anyone that follows us like us support us because those are all encouragement um, believe it or not and same goes to RPI your likes your um, your follow etc is an encouragement to them also as I said for Facebook I also would like you to you know follow them and subscribe uh, to the retro programmers inside YouTube channel okay um, I should click on there. These are videos that there are from their channel. And with the same thing, subscribe to the Phase 101 uh, YouTube channel. Subscribe and like. Please, if you are here and listening to me, please do that. Please hit that like button, that subscribe button, because as I said, it encourages everyone. From the Phase 101 side also, for those that want to support us, you, and of course you get benefits, there is the Phase 101 Patreon, and you can see the videos to unlock. There is, um, it's showing 52 here, but I think there is more. Uh, and same on Coffee, they are a mirror of each other. So whichever, you, you, you select, you can unlock all those videos and then there are benefits depending on the level of subscription that you choose. Of course, follow us on Twitch. And then there is Instagram, TikTok, GitHub, the page. I do uh, write articles from time to time on um, Vintage is the Real World and this is the last edition which is the Phase 101 merch shop but also you can donate on the same page and you find if you go on uh, uh, where is it Cloudbot, you get all the commands to Twitch. However, what I want to say, so I have a surprise on this page. I didn't come on this page just to make an advert for myself. You need to just give me a few minutes. So here is the surprise. So normally, of course, this page is for me to sell. I do not, 
gain anything from this to be fair but because they offer the donate it's uh, a good thing i mean i can uh i can actually make money from it if i want to but i haven't so those are the prices that the lowest that I, that I can sell them for and no profit for us but here is what i added okay you can see and it's not all here the games give me give me a second give me a second that's uh annoying that is my phase 101 merge okay but i took the liberty of adding these and i did the key j the book and the mouse pad for you guys and also for the games i mean this in a way is a test for phase 101 because i want to do our games and show our games like this but and be able to um, advertise them like this but at the same time i did this so you can if you like i mean get i mean i don't i as i said i get nothing but <laughs> um if you like them there they are and this is the one that i made specially for arturo so i don't know if he's listening but that's uh, um for his logo so yeah i, I mean you can order them I, I if you want to but i do not touch anything i know that boom they go and that's it i mean they take care of everything read all i can tell you is read the info if you want to order anything um because i really don't know and to be honest i'm not really interested in in the sense um it just i have the option and i just did it and this is what i did by the time i came from where i was till the stream that's why I... <laughs> thank you <laughs> so yeah um the other thing is i need to give points i believe so that is something that i didn't prepare myself so please go on the page and do uh see you can see them because i think you can click and see more images i'm not sure yeah you yes, see the key yes. Chain? you can see more images of it and the same thing for the others so if you want to check them out please uh do that okay so oh thank you arturo oh much appreciated really really much appreciated um guys it, i mean this is my first test stream okay as i said i have a new setup and i i am uh really really um trying to get back to where i was because i made a mistake and i lost the, comp the complete setup i improved it as you can see but it is uh it is of a an issue starting a new setup from the beginning so what i want to say is you see that i have um two um one is for um, having more members i mean more subs and also one is for um donations to uh, for storage so what i mean by this first of all before i go there i would like to thank old school coder for sponsoring the hard drive where i store or edit the videos however the videos that i have in relation to all that i did so far are nearly five terabytes right now and i bought another hard drive and i'm mirroring them but i'm realizing that um i need storage in the cloud uh so this is why i have them there i'm hoping that eventually i will be able to afford it and have storage in the cloud 
um, because of the space that I need. Um, so sorry, I'm not bragging or, uh, but I'm saying the reason why I have those there. Because, oh, is old school colder here? No. At least I do not see him. Um, but anyway, that's that's the main reason they are there. Uh, it is there because when you start, I mean, you see this video. If I upload it to YouTube, the quality is lost. Okay, the quality is really crap. But I record them at very high quality. Each video, roughly, with all the stuff, is about fifteen G. Yeah, so they are very very high quality videos, and on YouTube, YouTube slash them up basically. So yeah. Anyway, let's start with the first game. And the first game is loaded. I did it from um I did it before because to load it used to it takes time. Uh so the first game that we are going to play, given that I bring it to the screen. So there you go. Is the one of um, the, um, called the bet of CEO. Okay, CEO, parlo in italiano un po' per te. Uh, allora, il tuo gioco l'ho scaricato uh, prima perché uh, quando inizia. Ci mette un po' di tempo, eh, perciò ho pensato che è meglio iniziare con questo, così eh, non perdiamo così tanto tempo a, <ride> um, finché inizia, ok? Allora, guys, I will try to spend roughly 10 minutes on each game, um, take give and take. You know my skills, they are super, no, when I'm play when I play. But at the end, if you continue to be here, I have a surprise, another surprise. And this one you will like because you are all coders. <clears throat> so let's play the game of Horatio. Ciao zio, eh? Allora. This is played with the keyboard, not with the joystick. Now, few things I want to say before I start uh, on this game. Okay? Il gioco è stato fatto in basic. Il gioco ha bella grafica. E... E poi l'idea del gioco è bellissima. Questo è, è un gioco per l'MSX, ok? So, I say this in English. This game was written in basic. The graphics are really ple pleasant. And... Um, I forgot what was the third one now. <laughs> uh, sorry, I forgot. Uh, I lost uh, <laughs> what I was going to say. <clears throat> but it is a, a very, very... Uh, the concept is very nice. I really liked it. Um, so this is what uh, earlier I was talking to you guys and I said what how to think out of the box. And he used basic and he managed to think out of the box for me. Okay? So, let's start.
So, uh, I do a pass. Notice that there is no scroll in this game, but he still managed to achieve the effect of the climber. <clears throat> Talking and playing is not something that I can do either. Yeah, the the animation of the player especially is very very good. So, uh, oh, thanks, Arturo. Allora, look at the um, per, um, look at what uh, he, he managed to do it in English and Italian and look at the um, the translation the gaps did it for him so thank you the gaps ah he can't write but why doesn't he have a verified email or there's an issue with his account Yeah, you need a C or C. Devi avere un account con email. Uh, very, uh, questa è una la legge di Twitch. <laughs> Come su Facebook, no? no? Um, allora, notate la storia che lui ha, ha fatto. Notice the, uh, the story. I mean. It is a bit long, this part, but it is cool. He implemented all this in basic. See, oh, he suggest, uh, ti suggerisco di creare un account, eh? Perché ogni volta che facciamo questi tipo di streams, eh, ci... Eh, devi essere, no? Non, non è che richiede tantissimo, un email e tutto qua. Eh, hello, the gaps. Can I turn down the audio? Is it high? Wait. But that's the intention, Keith Carson. These are 8-bit machines. What do you think? That they had a... <laughs> do you think that they had, a, you know, a full synth? <laughs> it's not... Um, some of the games, this is what they had. So, is the sound too low now? Because now I, I uh, just tell me uh, if it's too high or too low. Ah, is it okay now? Yes. Uh, See you did uh, a great thing. <laughs> so now we can start. I can start playing again. Given I die in the first minute. 
Oops. Better avoid that. <laughs> Oops. I don't pass. Ignore. Better ignore. So, the what I like is the Im imagination. Now we are on a tree trunk, and the branches, how he did them, is very cool. Ah, thank you. Oops, 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 oops. oops. Ah, reading made me die. Thank you, Davide. So, I think uh, we can all say that Tio did a great job in basic. Oh, thank you, Tio. Oops, 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 yeah. Thanks for the follow. Um. So I learned that some of them, it's better to avoid them than... Difficult. Okay, so because it has a long intro, I think the f the five the ten minutes <laughs> passed anyway. Um, so let's try to do um the next game, which is also of Tio, and this one, if this had cute graphics, the next one is even better. I I really liked it. Ciao, Tio. Okay, so let's go to intermission again and load the game. So this one requires a different MSX. You have more lives than a, ch a cat in this game. <laughs> really? <laughs> Trust me, guys. You're going to like what I'm going to show at the end. So. Philips. I think it's 8020. The model. And okay, let's start. So changing to MSX again. Okay, um, this one, the sounds take some time to load. Okay, so we have our game. Okay. 
Now this one, look at the graphics, it's so cute. And the thing is so is really cute. This guy. Ah oh, the green ones I cannot take. I forgot that. Now what I like is when the bird comes. Shit. There you go. That is because I because of the bird I died. <laughs> You cannot take both sides, I, I learned. Uh, uh, yes. It's going to come again, I think. Because when the bird comes, it's difficult. Ah, press the two, uh, too late. Yeah, the the graphics are really are really nice. Uh, let's skip it because I was talking. No, no, you cannot avoid the bird when you are there. Anyway, it's a it's a really really cute game. And being done in basic, it's 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 cool. So when there is green, nothing. Posso saltare? How? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I realized that. But I was trying to avoid the bird. No, no, yet. Yeah, I avoid. <laughs> Ah. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I thought also, that the bird looks like... Uh, like a flappy bird. No. I'm making a fool of myself as always when I play. But uh, I have to say, this game responds good to the keys. Um, the response is very good. No. Um, so it's only the timing when you jump from one branch to another, but it's, it's in basic. You cannot really, um, you cannot really, um, do much about that in terms of, pro but, but the response is, is very good. No. Why? Why monkey wall? 
on void branch. No! So, for me, if I can suggest something, se posso suggerire qualcosa, zio, e, e se tu cadi quando sei qua, ok? Non, non, non devi morire, perché sei... l'altezza la, è... non è alta. Però il resto è bellissimo. Ah, I took the green one, I shouldn't. So, so yeah, the and the idea, l'idea è, è bellissima. Yeah. Sì, sì, lo, eh, posso capire, però eh, per uno come me magari fai un easy level, no? <ride> ok, lo giochiamo per l'ultima volta. E questa volta proverò a non leggere i messaggi così... Eh, farò più attenzione. Uh, no. So, sorry, I will read the messages when I finish, when I die. No, um, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I died. Eh, sì, cade perché non è sul ramo. No, green one. Why did I go there? <laughs> sì. L'uccello non mi piace. <laughs> oh no. But it's very nice, the bird, no? No, they are green. Okay. But... Okay, I am dying and I am, you know, um, haven't practiced it enough. But... Even if I'm dying, even if I... Di no. Yeah. Scappata bella. The, even though I'm dying, it, I can assure you that I'm enjoying it. You know, the game is very good. No. Well, it's my highest score, I think. Oh. Pff. Porca. I need pizza. <laughs> to play better. Okay. So...
let me prepare for the next game. Now this one, I liked it, but I could not figure certain things yet. So maybe I will figure it uh, while I'm playing with you guys. So this is for the plus four. The Giuseppe. Okay, let me. And uh, where is it? Is Giuseppe here? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Eh? So in this one, I really need help because I could not uh, figure. Um, I could not figure um, certain part of it. So this game is very sensitive to the joystick, at least to my joystick. Ah, forgot. So the aim is to take this uh, bird or whatever, uccello. Ah, uh, so this is what I meant. It's very sensitive. It it moves too fast. But uh, there's a part of it that I um... Doctor Honey, how how are you? Yes, I am terrible. I know. That's why I don't play. That's why I code. <laughs> So, um, this is the thing, it's, it's so sensitive. I wanted to stop and it didn't stop. And I do have a good joystick. So this is the problem that I have. You arrive here, you arrive here, and then you can walk, but how to jump to the next window, I couldn't figure it out. Maybe now I do it. Ooh. Guys, miracle. You don't know how many times I tried. Uh, anyway, I died because I'm talking to you guys. Yes, the, the, the graphics are also cool. The idea is, is cool. Um, the only thing is, I mean, this is not to say anything. My joystick is so sensitive um, that I, I know I need to stop and it moves one more than what I, I want. No, I have a very good joystick. I'm serious. <laughs> if I didn't have a good joystick, I will, <laughs> uh, I will say it's the joystick fault, but I, I really have a good joystick. <laughs> So you can wait like this, but you have a time. 
So I don't know if I should go to the other side or not, but I'm going to wait for it to open. Now that I figured out what I need to do. It's not going to open. No. Yeah, but how do you go? Yeah, that's this is the problem. How do you go to the other side? I'm going to fall now. You see? So now I know that I have to be on that side. But apart from the joystick responsive that is too sensitive, the game is very addictive. Now I can. How do I? Ah, game over. I die. Okay. So only when I'm you are on top, you can go left and right. Damn it. Come on. Come on, open. So you have to wait. There's no, at least I do not know of another way. Yeah, the idea is simple and awesome. Yeah. Very, very simple and awesome. This is what I said uh, to you guys uh, before, that um, some of you concentrated on the scroll while others concentrated on the concept. So when does it go? Come on, open. Window. Don't know. Yeah. So this is the thing, no? No. What do you do then? <laughs> Had no choice. Unless I'm missing something. No, when the window is, you cannot move, no? You die. For example, the one of, in front of me needs to open to move. I don't know if you, can I go backwards? Oh yeah, I can go backwards. Aha. Uh -huh. That's a different story, no? So, and now it's okay. Nah, now it wasn't the joystick, it was me. As I remember, you can do double step. What do you mean? So I need to wait now. Ah, oh, you can do that, okay. Uh, where do you go there? You cannot. But anyway, the, the game concept is very good.
Come on, open. No chance. So, you see, the, I went up when I wanted to go left. Um, that this, that's the only. Uh, He's not online, eh, Mignota? Mignona? Because I cannot say his name. His surname, sorry. Ah, uh, you see, I wanted to go to stop and it continue moving. Yes, it is. The only thing is sometimes you feel you are trapped or I don't know if there's another way of um because sometimes you have no other way. But uh he said there are bugs. I didn't find any bugs to be honest. So maybe he was referring to this. So in the readme, that's what there is, that he has bugs, but I haven't found any bugs. Oops, I'm, I'm reading the messages. So. No, 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 no. Come on. So, for example, right now, you have no choice. No to stay there. And this is the only flaw that I see in the game. That sometimes you don't have an escape or an option where to go. Or, or there is something missing. I'm going to try this one. Let's see. Okay. Made an advance. Oh. You see, and when they close, they close very fast, the windows. Ah, uh, I was not thinking right. Anyway, I think... I play it one more, but I think I played it more than what I should, or what I'm. I said I will. Uh, Doctor Honey, did you stream today? Guys, follow Doctor Honey. Yeah, he does really, really good streams. I mean, they are x86, so. But his streams are very interesting. It's it's a uh, assembly hardware programming the way we like it. So here, it's like you can be trapped. I mean, I don't know, but that's how it feels sometimes. No.
So you see, what do you do when you are in this situation? I can go back for now. So now I'm going to move. Maybe if you move, it changes. No. Anyway, that's basically it. So, ah, uh, he's not here anymore. Anyway, so that was uh, the game of Giuseppe. Let's go to intermission again. And this time we start our lovely machine that we all like and those that hate it cannot be here the Commodore 64 anyone that hates the Commodore 64 cannot call himself retro anyway my opinion <laughs> so next game um, Let's do Massimo. So, this is the game of Massimo. Uh, this is with keyboard. So, this is written in basic, okay? And for me, Massimo also total uh, out of the box. See uh, what uh, what he has done. So, can you hear the sound? Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry, guys. Sorry. The keys. AD, I think it was, no? Massimo, was it AD? A and D, if I remember correctly, because I, I was talking, I did I forgot to read the instructions. Yeah, it's AD. Okay. That was a test for the keyboard. Let's see. What I did not understand, what you do with the uh, no sound. Um, hold on. Can you hear it? This is the... I don't know, is that a... Sorry, I'm not playing the game right now. Is there a volume for no I mean it's it's fine here ah, okay so what I did not understand is the balloon what do you do with the balloon you have to avoid it I think no Oh no. So you do not need to be trapped basically. If a window is closed, you continue to fall down. So, guys, this is in basic, eh? and for me, it is quite cool what he did. Ah. And also, it's very responsive and in basic. Is uh, Nello here?
what I did not understand is when does he go up? Because you can only move left and right. Ah, oh, you have to take the balloon. Uh huh. So how do you take the balloon? No. It's a very fast game, eh? And in basic. This is... Uh... Oh. You, ca you can see, I, I mean, I was testing now. I was not really playing. But you can see it was very fast. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And it's basic. Jesus, Jesus, how can I avoid that? Massimo, what do you do to me? Ah, Giuseppe. I just did your game. Very good game. Ah, now I died. So I thought you do not need to take the balloon, uh, Massimo. Yeah, it was the third game. We are in the fourth one, so you just missed it. This in basic and is very very fast, eh? And the response is incredible. No, no, I, I will try to play it once at least. Um, if you stay, let me finish uh, the one of Massimo. Yes, you pass the level. Ah. If I catch the balloon, you pass the level. Oh, I thought I died. Woo. Yeah. So like that, I pass the level. Aha. Uh -huh. Level two. Yes. Oh, my God. Ooh, the stuff. I, I really do not know how you manage to achieve the speed in basic and in basic two. Is it compiled? Uh, Massimo, is it compiled basic by any chance or is it just basic? <sighs> come on, come on, come on, go up. Ah, uh, impossible. When they come like that, impossible. At least for me. My god, it's really, really, really good. And I'm impressed by the speed.
I'm in basic 2 at this speed. Ma. No, but it is, uh, oh, honestly, it is, it is quite good for basic game with this speed. I mean, on the Commodore 64 to have a, the scroll of the colors like that. Because what's happening there, um, the screen is not scrolling, but it's the things that are falling that are scrolling down, no? But the response from the keyboard, impressive how responsive the game is. Come on, let me live, let me live, let me live. Let me live. The windows are sprites. Ah, that's why you have eight. Aha, interesting. Good one. Good one, good idea. Okay, so this is the last time I'm going to play it. And then let's try again the one of Giuseppe. Giuseppe, you said you have bugs in it. I didn't find bugs, except that sometimes I found myself logged and I do not know where to where I can go. But I didn't find any bugs in it. Come on, balloon. Come on, come on. One more. Yes. Come on, balloon. No. Damn it. Yes. That's uh, that's the thing. Okay, let's uh, play one of Giuseppe. Remember, guys, if you are watching, hit that follow button, like button, whatever. So, um, let me start the plus four again. So, I hope I managed to show you what I, what I meant. Uh -uh. The gap said that you can jump twice, but is it the case? I cannot read the messages if I'm playing, to be honest, but um. Come on, open, open, open. You see this, if it, if it goes down, what do you do? You are trapped. There you can, what, jump to? Press fire and down, ah, fire and down. Aha, uh -huh. I went back twice, okay. 
Can I go up twice? Oh yes, that's cool. Okay, so that was, uh, now it's me. Um, that was the mystery. But you said there are bugs. I didn't find any bugs in it. Uh, so my only critic to the game, and this is not, um, is that it's sensitive to my joystick. Uh, I want it to stop and it continue moving. Uh, that's the only thing. Uh, and I do have a good joystick. Now you tell me, ah, oh, you're bad, but... Um, it's... it's the sensitivity is, is, is too... too much. Any direction? Ah, oh, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. This is cool. Now that I have this. So I can jump one, no? Yes. And now I can jump one also. Oh yeah. Oh god. That makes a big difference. So So what is the bugs that you mentioned? Aha. Uh -huh. So now I've reached the top or what? Ah. Uh, okay. Um thank you. <laughs> uh, because else I will not stop playing it. It is at very top. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So let's uh, continue with the 64. Yeah, the gameplay is very good of it. So. Anyway, so, 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 which one is, who is next? Okay, Arturo. So, the sound, is the sound okay, guys? So this one, I'm, I really, really, you know the word, but I was playing the older version of this game, so this was a big improvement to what you, uh, a big improvement to what, uh, to the previous one. It, eh? Anyway, the the graphics, the Petsky are good. Um, I think uh, used one of these tools. The sound is too low. The sound is too low, really.
it's full. Okay, so I'm going to ask now, maybe there is something that I'm missing. Is there something, on, is there an option in Vice at the bottom where you put the volume up? Because this one doesn't have. You read it. You read it wrong. Ah. Ah, okay. So. Is Arturo still here? Okay, so can you hear it okay now? So how he decides when he when I'm going up? No. Nah. Yeah. These pricks you need to avoid, no? Yeah. 48, come on. Good. Uh, the flames are not moving. No, they are. Look, I'm going to wait. You see? They are moving. Yeah, 20 now. Yeah, I, I realized. But what is... What I would have loved is that he flashes or something. And I do not know... To move. You see these. The that that type of wall is 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 that is kills me. No. Yeah. So here, you try to be, you need to be precise. Yeah. We'll figure it out eventually. So basically, these, that's when you die, when he hits you properly. So you try to go, this is my problem, you know, I'm trying to avoid those, but when I try to go left or right, it's like it doesn't respond, the joystick. No, I read, I read those, I know what it says there. Yeah. Avoid the obstacles, avoid the goblin, avoid the fire. Go as high as possible, but... Uh, the if I try to go left, it doesn't always go left. It gets stuck, like in this case, and that's what I do not understand.
Ah, now it's my fault. But, you see, I'm trying to go left. Oh, sorry, right, and I cannot. Now it moved. And I was not, I didn't change a thing. Ah. 17, my god. The only thing I can say is this version is better than the version that I had before. That, that, the other one drove me nuts, I have to say. Um, no, it shouldn't. No, not for the Commodore 64. But it's this, you see, I am I am where you start, okay? You try to move and not always moves, not always responds. That that I do not understand why. So right now look. It moved, but there are times when it gets stuck. You see right now it's stuck. Why is it stuck? I'm I'm pressing right. You see, I'm stuck. Boom, and now, now it moves a bit. So, th th this is where... I mean, I don't want to complain about the game, you know? But... That, that's what I was saying. I don't think so, Arthur. I really don't think it, it collides. Uh, I'm using Vice. Last one. So look, this is my start, I pressed right, you saw it moving a little bit and then it got stuck. And now it went up without me telling it to go up. Or did you test it on Vice or you test it somewhere else, on something else? I mean when it when it when the joystick responds it's it's cool I like it So sometimes my only option is going up because I try to go right and I cannot Oh, 66, okay, highest score. <laughs> but did you try it on Vice? Or used uh, one of the other ones? Because that could be a difference. Vice is more precise, you know that. So you see, look, it's stuck. Right now, I cannot move. And then it moved after I released the joystick. Boom. You see, it's stuck again. Again. Ah, impossible. So I, I want to change. Okay, I managed to change now. No, it's, um, oh, well, I do not know why it is, uh, you know, getting stuck. See, look, it got stuck again. So sometimes, because it gets stuck, my only option is to go forward. So like that it shouldn't 
be helping me. See, you can tell that it gets stuck because it will move and then stop. Mm, I'm not using diagonal left or right, but it could be that it that maybe when I press the joystick, I'm a bit diagonal, so then it gets confused. It could be. It, it could be you are right. Because once it starts moving, then it's fine. But sometimes it just stops. Now it's my fault, it's not that it was stuck, okay? So, let's be honest there. <laughs> but look, right now it's got stuck. I, I just started. And actually I'm going to test it for diagonal. You see? Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. If you are not exactly... Yeah, if you are just a little bit diagonal, it it uh, it stops. I mean, I'm playing with joystick. So, as long as I'm left and right, not hitting the diagonal, it's fine. Yeah. That's a good tip. Um, Davide. Goes very fast, eh? Up. And we cannot go here. Well, yeah. Yeah, it is the diagonal which. Um, so Arturo, sorry, but check that. <laughs> now, but this version, you really, really improved a lot from what you had. Even the graphics improved a lot. You see, if I, if I am careful not to use the diagonal, okay, I died. Oh, 70, now it's the highest. Hi, Proton. Um, if I am careful uh, and not to hit the diagonal, then the game works as it should. So, yeah. The thing is, when you're going up, he, he does diagonal on top of you. Yeah, ah, 84, okay.
Mm. Well, I think uh, we did the um, we did the time, and let's pass to the next one. So, next one is uh, the one of Emanuele. Now, this one is a bastard game. This one is a bastard game. <laughs> it made me swear. <laughs> yeah, Arturo, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So, this one, Emanuele wanted me to swear. Uh, is the sound okay? So, what I mean, why I said Emanuele... You know, giochi di merda e merda dappertutto. <laughs> Fucking hell. Impossible. <laughs> yeah, and the cat also drops cats. No. So better be away from this shit. That's all I can say. I'm not reading the messages, by the way. No! GDM games are only for pro <laughs> gamers. Can you uh, have you ever seen a, a shit bigger than the fucking player? <laughs> because that's what we have here. Eh? <laughs> and look, <laughs> impossible to avoid it. It's bigger than the head of the player. <laughs> And then the cat comes and the cat comes and throws you another cat. Ah, I was looking at the cat. Yeah, lots of shit. No. You see, when he throws those two cats, how can you... You know, it shouldn't be GDM, but should be GB. Oh, God. How can I escape that? Ugh. Uh, yeah, pizza slices. Yeah, he had too much pizza. Oh, they changed colors. It's the first time I'm seeing this. Why is this? Is it a bug? This is a bug, no? Emanuele. No. 
No, i... Nie. Oh, yeah. Please refrain from spamming. It's a f ah, you cannot type caps. It will not let you type capitals. It's a feature. Uh huh. Ah, uh, so the windows became opposite or what? I'm I'm not I'm trying to understand what happened. Can I rest? I'm going to restart it because that's a difficult bug to deal with. Oh. Anyway, Emanuele likes to throw shit on my head. Yeah. How can I avoid that? Yeah, pineapples. No, the bird adds a lot of pizza. By the way, Proton, these are games that were made on the Facebook group uh, retro programmers inside uh, there was a challenge for one month and a half or something like that and i'm just showing them the games are not mine but of the people that are in the chat mostly uh, some of them were written in basic some of them in assembly uh, and the challenge was to do a game like um, crazy climber I'm sorry, I'm not reading the chat right now, as I will not be able to avoid this shit coming to me. Merdacha. I'm gonna say a master sister. <laughs> Emanuel has banned. <laughs> I mean, I need to switch on the... I mean, I do not know where those timers are. So I do apologize. I did say that uh, I have a new setup because I lost all my setup. And those timers, I really do not know where they are. So please do not cut, type caps. And the bear doesn't stop flying, eh? Uh, what killed me now? Ah, the window. Nah, impossible. I did not understand when the cat throws another cat. No! Possible. The, the, the shit is too big. So, no, ah, again, Emanuele. That 
There must be something. No, uh, Giuseppe, Emanuele told me to speak English. So I'm I'm trying to be bold. No. Oh. Really? You think it's a memory problem? Do you reach the level? No. I had forgot forget caps lock before. Caps lock? No. I don't have any caps lock. So, if you permit me to say, I would make the shit of the bird smaller. I would make the bird not constantly there. It's like hovering after your head all the time. But the rest is okay. I mean, even though there is this bug, You cannot press. If you press down, nothing happens. Uh -uh. Damn it. This should turn off. No. <laughs> Why would I see that? The, I do not understand when the cats fall. Uh, uh. I can tell you one thing. In every game of Emanuele, there is always merda. <laughs> no, no, it's my fault. It's very difficult. This game, I found it very difficult. Also because the player is big, the, 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 I mean, which is true, it's, it's the right size, I think. But then you get this thing, it's too big, you cannot avoid it. <laughs> the cat is depressed, so he jumped one of his life. <laughs> okay. Good one. No. <laughs> okay, let's play it. I still have one life, but I will play it one more.
but to be fair apart from this little bug the game is good i mean it's just me finding it difficult or i don't know and notice the color change now the windows are all gray i guess that's a the feature no No. So right now the game is waiting for me to press the fire to continue, but the bird is still there. The bird should reset and look, it's still shitting. <laughs> if I if I don't do anything, look, it continues. <laughs> Not doesn't move, but it shits. <laughs> It's a good one, Emanuele. This this part I like. No. Okay. We've done this one. And let's go to the next one. Um, so intermission. And who remains? Nello. Yeah, Nello. Now, do you want is Nello here? Because I am a bit, there are two of Nello. Castle Climber and Castle Climber Beta. Which one is the correct one? Is, N is Nello here? Can can you tell me, guys, if Nello is here, and uh, or if you guys know which one to run? I'm going to run the one which is not beta, okay? And then if needs be, I change. Now Nello has got instructions. That I need. To run using this. SYS. So, um, I take it Nello is not here. Uh, sorry, guys, I clicked the wrong one. This one. Ah, okay. This is my fault. But I like this game. So... I take it this is the one without the hearts, so... So where is the key? This is...
So, I believe... Um, I was shielding myself. And, ah, I, I forgot that I can fire. Yes, it's original concept. Um, is Nello here? It's a shame if he's not. Yeah, yeah, the arrow is it's very good. So this is a game that I can play, as you can see guys, well I died. Okay, the one with the, with the, so the beta is the new, uh, most recent one. Okay, let's see. Ah uh, yeah, this is the one with the hearts. But they come more more faster. Oh, what's that bottle? Even the bottle. Yeah. Nah. Okay. Somehow I avoided that. No. Okay. What does that thing do? Oops. The hearts, uh, for, I, I forgot what it does, uh, he said. So he, he's not on the chat, no? Maybe he is. I see in A7676. Is that him? Hello, Briegel. So, for those that do not know, this is. These are the games that took part in the retro programming inside. Programmers inside. Uh, challenge 
you can join the Facebook group Retro Programmers Inside and if you like you can also participate participate in their challenges I don't know skeletons This I do not know when you fire like that. What is it for? So So it depends how you hit the arrow so so it looks like with the shield. What the heck is that? Ah, throwing oil. That's cool. Look, people throwing oil. Ah, there, there's a collision detection issue here. That's why it's still beta. It's a shame that he is not online. Yeah, but it doesn't want it's down, not firing down, but it doesn't. What does it do? Where is Nello? Oh, that's that. Oh, ah. What does that, that uh, do? Ah, Nello's driving the car, uh huh. Shame, shame.
Okay, let's play it one more time. And then I show you what I want to show you. Ah. No, no. So I'm trying to understand the what do the hearts give you? It's my fault now. There, well, it's always my fault now. Okay, so I want to show you something that I did. Five minutes before the stream, and I, when I say five minutes, it's literally five minutes. So, you are all coders. I took the game of Emanuele, okay, and I disassembled it. But I just took, you can take any game, okay? This is thanks to, I mean, I'm using a tool, thanks to Shalan and old, uh, old school coder, basically. So, I can prove to you that it assembles. Given that I am in the right, yeah. And there you go. This is the game of Emanuela running from uh, my, sorry guys, I should have switched to that. So here are the, here's the assembly of, of the game. And this is the game of Emanuela. I'm just going to run it again to show you because I, I missed that part. And you can see the game assembled and run immediately so there is this tool called this 64 which can do this assembly of games for the commodore 64 it doesn't matter if it's optimized or not any game it will do any game uh it's just an example because i didn't want to take one from csdb I leave it up to you guys to try a CSDB one. Um, so basically there is this tool called this 64, which hopefully let me before I let me do that before I and check something. Yeah. Okay. So if you go to this URL. You can download this tool. Um, you need to use npm for it and then do npm install and uh, basically um, what you need to do is get a game like uh, what I did with Emanuela, Emanuela's one. Okay, so 
if I go, I'm going to exit from here. And I'm going to go to my workspace for this 64. Now I'm going to take another game, okay? Um, the biggest one that there is, the one of Arturo. Okay, and I'm going to copy it in the in the project directory. And I'm going to rename it so that it is SC PRG. Okay. All I need to do is I call it Arturo. This assembly, okay. And this one is SC. I make it bigger. Control. Okay, can you see, all see the command? And this is SC. And we call it Arturo. Okay, so this is the command to dis disassemble it. Okay, the program that we have, which is here, SCPRG. I hit enter and it will start disassembling it. Given that I did everything right. Yeah. That is it. It disassembled. So now I close the project. Uh, not the project I wanted to close, not visual code. So close workspace. I open the Arturo is here. You can see Arturo is select this folder and there are two files. You can see them here. This is the main file and it, there's a symbol file. Okay, so this is the code of Arturo. Okay. F5, hopefully, uh, sorry, I need to rename that because I, in my uh, kick S, I just made something that is always starts with main because of the game that I'm working on. So, assemble, and that's the game of R2 Rod is assembled and assembled again using kick S. That is all. It's able to do everything basically. It's um, what's his name? Old school coder did twenty five tests from twenty five. Once it failed, so most of the time it's accurate. Let's say it has a ninety five percent or something like that. But this is all the code that Arturo did. And the file, the other file, this is labels.esm, is the VIC20, VIC20, the VIC2 registers, basically. So it finds the registers and it also swaps them um, with what you are using. I'm pretty sure Arturo is recognizing some of his own code. I hope he's still here. Is he still here? Yeah. So, yeah.
it's the tool is able to do this assembly of C64 and VIC-20 right now, but it will have all, I think, all the 8-bit machines eventually. So it's obvious that Mr. Arturo has got a macro here. This is so much repetition, Arturo. It's obviously it's a macro. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not teasing you now, but I, it's obvious for me. It's a macro. <laughs> That's what macros do. <laughs> anyway. Same thing as I did for Emmanuel, I did it for Arthur, I can do it for any other game. It's just good, I think, that you guys know about such a tool. Was that helpful? I hope it was. Um, any questions? So, this is the tool, okay, that you need. So guys, I think uh, we arrived at the end of our stream. So guys, thank you very much. And hopefully I see you in the next stream. Um, I hope you have a nice night and nice weekend because tomorrow, happy Friday anyway. See you guys. Bye-bye.